Hello there, my name is Peter Thompson and this is one of my Myths of Golf series. This DVD is about rhythm. You might wonder why rhythm is a myth. Well, I believe that it is. Many, many teachers, including me, would agree that rhythm is a good thing but one cannot just produce rhythm. It's nearly impossible. People love watching good golfers play golf because they're balanced, good turn, good finish, and it looks to be very rhythmical. But it's nearly impossible to swing rhythmically if your movements are in the wrong sequence. I quite enjoy watching ballet and gymnasts and listening to music. Good ballet dancers make all the right movements, all the right steps in the right sequence. It looks beautifully rhythmical because they're making the right movements in the right sequence. Gymnasts are the same. Good gymnast looks fantastic. They jump up and turn around do all sorts of things and land on a little narrow bar about four inches across and if they do that correctly, make the right movements in the right sequence, it looks effortless, rhythmical, because they've made the right movements. If they get one movement wrong, they can fall off, maybe even hurt themselves. Music is the same. Mozart, Beethoven, Classical music is wonderful, well all music is actually. Classical music, you need a huge number of people playing different instruments. If you get one instrument playing out of sequence, it sounds terrible. So rhythm, to me, is making the right movements in the right sequence. You cannot simply produce a rhythmical golf swing. If I stand to a golf ball and make the wrong movement back, for example, with my arms, well, that's not rhythmical. It's the wrong movement. Turning around, you could say that that is more rhythmical, which it is, because it's the right movement. Sequence, movements, equals rhythm. Let's go and look at some very, very famous golfers now. And we'll see if they have a rhythmical golf swing. Bobby Jones. I'm going to show you this swing now at normal speed. I normally slow swings down and stop them, but this DVD is about rhythm. And we'll watch Bobby Jones a few times. And the rhythm was fantastic. This is John Jacobs, by the way, who was introducing Poppy Jones to the sequence. So, very rhythmical. Absolutely beautiful. Aaron Nelson, world famous golfer, won 11 tournaments on the trot, 1945. Average score for the year, 68.33 shots around. Phenomenal. And the rhythm is superb because the sequence of movements is superb. Let's find some more. Any else, everyone knows any else. Let's find any else. Here he is. On the 18th tee at Augusta National. He 
isn't that superb? Very, very rhythmical because he's making the right movements in the right sequence. Let's watch it again. So, a rhythm. I don't teach it. If you came into my studio and watched me giving lessons, and quite a few people do actually. In fact, one man came to watch me giving his wife lessons over maybe a year, year and a half. He sat in the chair and said almost nothing. And he then came in one day and said to me, thank you for letting me watch you giving my wife golf lessons. I've just had a gross, I think it was a gross 74, no, 73. 73 had a net score of 59. Net 59 in the competition, just by listening to the lessons. So if you came to watch me giving lessons, you would never hear me say to anyone, please swing rhythmically because you can't just simply do that. We address the ball. Turn round. Keep on turning. Swing the arms back. Swing the arms upwards. Good balance finish. You may call that a rhythmical goal swing. I don't. I call that a swing in the right sequence. Rhythmical? Don't think so. Rhythmical? Don't think so. Because the movements were simply wrong. Turn, turn, hinge, lift, transfer your weight, turn round, balanced, rhythmical, good movements, good sequence. I'm going to show you some of my pupils, and again we'll see these people at normal speed, and you will say, quite rightly, that their rhythm is extremely good. Here's Liz on the Ladies European Tour. Slow turn, hinge, transferring the weight coming forward, good balance, good finish, very rhythmical. So I spent a long time getting her to get the stance right, getting the first part of the swing right, getting the top of the swing right, then moving to the finish. Good movements, good sequence. Martin got down to plus four. Brilliant golfer. You may have seen it before in my DVDs. And the rhythm. Superb. He had a lesson last week, last week being February 2018, hitting six irons, maybe 200 yards carry. By getting the sequence right, there's no loss of balance. Looks very, very good. I'll show you one more. Again, normal speed, we're not looking at the swing, we're looking at the overall sequence of movements, which we're going to call rhythmical because the sequence of movements is very, very good. Another balance. Spend years teaching James to get the first part of the swing right, just the takeaway, just the takeaway. 
those seven irons are going over the trees at the end of the driver range. A long, long way. What's the finish? Fantastic. So you've seen six golfers, three top top pros, three of my pupils, and what you saw was six rhythmical golf swings. But I repeat, I repeat my lessons all the time, I repeat the same things all the time, so people can then understand, hopefully, what I'm saying to them. And just to finish off this DVD, Rhythm is a sequence of correct movements. You cannot simply produce a rhythmical golf swing. Get the ball position right, get your feet right, get your stance right, left arm club in line, then, key thing then is start by, by turning your hips, turning your chest, pushing your arms away, and then when the turn finishes, the back swing ends, then shift your weight to the left, turn round and drive the ball forward onto your left side at the finish of the swing. Rhythm. Movements in the right sequence. So when you practice next, don't try and just be rhythmical because that's, it won't work. I will guarantee you cannot produce a rhythmical swing with a poor sequence of movements. Just work on the sequence and you'll get better. I just know you will. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much.